Parliament met and passed a total of 33 laws, many of which still benefit us today. Whether motivated by self-interest or a genuine concern for justice, Richard was certainly an able legislator who understood the law and who redressed many grievances. Several of his laws, for example, gave customers the right to fair measures of wine, oil and cloth, the beginnings of our trading standard system. One of Richard's laws stops people who are accused of a crime from being imprisoned before their trial, the beginning of our bail system. He also prevented court officials from seizing people's goods before they had been convicted. Lord Campbell, a 19th century Lord Chief Justice, claimed that Richard's Parliament was the most meritorious assembly for protecting the liberty of the subject and putting down abuses in the administration of justice since the reign of Henry III. Richard was genuinely committed to improving communication. He passed legislation that helped encourage the development of printing in England and was the first king to publish laws in English. He also owned a sizeable library with many books in English, including the Order of Chivalry, a manual on knighthood printed by William Caxton, and an English translation of Vigatius's military reference work, De Re Militari. Previously, Edward IV had raised money through compulsory donations called benevolences, which not surprisingly were deeply unpopular. When Richard came to the throne, he passed a law abolishing them, stating that the subjects of this realm shall not be charged with any benevolences. Instead, Richard relied on loans that he promised to repay.